In this video, we are going to review one of the largest blockchain projects, the XRP Ledger. It's a high-performance, low-cost solution, which has proven over the years its reliability. But because of a lawsuit in the US and changes in the executive team, you might wonder, is it worth your time? Let's see. Hey, I'm Alex, and on it the blocks I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. <laughs> The XRP Ledger and its native token XRP were created by the fintech company Ripple, founded by Jet McAleb, Arthur Brito and David Schwartz. When McAleb left Ripple in 2014, the torch was passed on to Chris Larson and Brad Carlinghouse, who became Ripple's CEO. The native token of Ripple is called XRP and it's currently trading around 74 cents. It's ranked among the top 10 largest cryptocurrencies by market cap with a current total market cap of roughly $36 billion. So how does the XRP Ledger work? The XRP Ledger, which is also known as XRPL, is a decentralized public blockchain where anyone can connect its computer to the network that manages the ledger. The XRP Ledger does not use either proof of work or proof of stake, like many other popular blockchain networks. Instead, it uses a consensus protocol where the validators validate all the XRP transactions every 3 to 5 seconds. Now, let's see as a developer how you can use the XRP Ledger network. You can use the XRP Ledger library to build different types of applications. You can easily learn how to use this library on the website xrpl.org. The documentation provides step-by-step -step tutorials on how to integrate the client library into your application, the library currently supports multiple programming languages such as Python, Java, and JavaScript. Through the integrations of this library, you'll be able to have micropayments functions built inside of your gaming or web applications. You will also be able to build digital wallets to store private and public passwords. And you will even be able to build NFTs and different DeFi applications. So is it worth spending your time on Ripple? Where Ripple aims to reduce the cost and increase the speed of cross-border payments, the SEC has filed an action against Ripple in December 2020, claiming that they had sold over 1.3 billion worth of XRP to investors in the US and the global public as part of an unregistered securities sale. Despite this, it's still supported by various financial institutions globally. So what do you think about Ripple and the XRP ledger? Are you going to build apps to help them grow their ecosystem? Let me know in the comments down below.